It's a strawweight title fight in Boston. Dan Tom here with MMA Junkie to help you break down the co main event for UFC 292 between Zhang Wai Li and Amanda Lemos. Zhang Wai Li, of course, is the sitting two time champion as she is coming over a recent victory over two time champion Carla Esparza. Of course, it was an impressive one via submission. She beat former champion Ioana Janjacek in a rematch prior to that. Well, she's looking to kind of create a legacy of her own at this point as she looks to defend the throne against Lemos, who used to fight at 135 when she first stepped onto the scene opposite Leslie Smith, but now she's at her home in Strawweight where she is a dangerous counter-striker who comes from a camp with a good jiu-jitsu prowess, if you will, and that is kind of being passed on to her as we've seen in her recent two fights. At the time of this video, the odds makers and the public are heavily siding with the sitting champ Zhang Wei Li in the neighborhood of minus 340, with the comeback on the challenger Lemos in the neighborhood of plus 250. Now, when you see lines this wide in WMMA, women's MMA, you can kind of start to squint an eye. You know, we're not quite in Ronda Rousey odds territory, if you will. But you can't be too surprised. Again, Zhang Wei Li, she is just superhuman with her skills, her athleticism, and just her loving personality. She's growing in popularity, thankfully, as she deserves so. So it's not surprised to see her as a wide favorite here. That being said, I think this fight's dangerous, and the under is pretty fairly priced for a reason. Both fighters are finishers. Zhang Wei Li's aggression does not mean she's not beyond being hurt. So especially from left-sided strikes that Lemos can fling up there from her legs to that cr cross from southpaw and orthodox. She lists herself as a southpaw, mainly fights as orthodox, but those left-sided strikes will be something to watch out for. That being said, I think the wrestling is where these two separate. Even though Lemos is scrambling in jiu-jitsu, has shown to gotten better. I do think that Zhang Wei Li's wrestling, athleticism, and sharpening those tools under coaches like Josh Hinger are really going to come to bear like they have been before but particularly perhaps in this fight. Give me Zhang Wei Li by round two submission, but for pathways to both ladies for victory, well, you got to check out my in-depth breakdown over at MMAJunkie.com where you can find results this weekend.